and raised here in Lubbock and graduated from Lubbock High School. And my wife and I currently live at 401 Lowell for the past 30 years. I'm here to discuss future development of the town panel new uh, city hall project, along with fiscal responsibility and transparency, as has been mentioned so many times in the last two couple council meetings. Before I talk about the city hall project, I'd like to reiterate something that was mentioned at the last council meeting. The 4th of July celebration and Christmas in Loveland cost the, the residents of Loveland $20,000. I don't see that being very fiscally responsible. For many years, the Loveland Chamber of Commerce put on this event. And Mr. Ori, excuse me, you signed up to speak on the downtown development project, so I'd appreciate if you get to that point. Okay. According to Chamber of Commerce, C.C. Collins, um, and I quote, we ran this event for many years not losing any money. Well, we did lose money. And the majority of council, all right, have taken this event over. Some of you for, for some very personal vendettas. It's I'm sorry, if you don't get to your point, I'm calling you out of order. You okay. signed up to speak on one thing. I yeah, appreciate your speaking. No, you got to get to it right now, please. Okay. Well, I'll just make one final comment. The majority of us are not happy with what's happening on council. Okay, Mr. Orr, your time's up. If you don't, I'm, 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 I reminded you three times, you have to get to your point. Okay. If you wanted to speak about that, you could have signed up to speak about it. I'm sorry, but we, okay. that's the rules, okay? Fine, I'll go by your rules. All right, the reason why I'm here is to talk about City Hall and the demolition of this building and the construction of a new city hall. This was announced to the city in the Straight to the Heart new e newsletter back in January. As I stated, it took, in, in, as I looked into this project and the $89,000 lease, 30 month uh, lease that we were going to sign beginning May 1st, I was really real concerned about it. Um, thank goodness this project was tabled. However, there are some underlining facts the public need to be aware of. I was surprised to, receive, to, to review city council meeting minutes back several months and found nothing on this project. I then also reviewed the CIC meeting minutes back several months and still found nothing on this, on this project. It's ironic though, an architect firm has been hired, have completed renderings, have been, they've been printed in a newsletter, at what cost is this to the city? Where are we, where, how, how much have we spent so far? Without any approval from council, without any council worksheets or agenda items, no discussions, no minutes, no council negotiations, no resolutions to proceed or to hire. However, some, has, someone has authorized and hired architects McGill, Smith, Hudson. That doesn't seem to me to be very transparent nor very physical responsible physically responsible. Let me elaborate a little bit on transparency. And this is going to go off the subject a little bit, but it comes right back to it. My question is, why is the mayor not being transparent about this? It appears to me that mayor, our mayor has some undermining reason. I don't know what it is. Can't put my finger on it, but there's something out there. I find it real ironic that basically our mayor acted the same way as, as he, when he worked for North College Hill as a city administrator. Was. Okay, Mr. Ori. You know, there's a very good talked, point to well, this. You talked about um, You're interrupting my time. Well, I know because I've asked you several times to stay on point. Okay, this is this is not on point when you start talking about individuals' personalities. Let's confine it to the issue, please. Well, that's what it sounds like to me. We have a mayor that has committed fraud. It is being okay. sued for fraud. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. We're not. I'm not going to stand here and give you he, talk thing. about he, people who are not here to defend he's, themselves. He could watch it on tape. Well, he's not here. Okay. I'm not going to discuss it with him. I'm making a statement. Okay. Uh, I. Your time's up. Thank you. And Lewis College Hill got 
built out of a lot of stuff. You, you clearly also haven't paid any attention to the news either. Yeah. Okay, let, yeah. you know, uh, let, let us... Let me make a comment, just real quick. Okay, make your comment and night, that's it. Last night, North College Hill decided to settle the suit. But that doesn't take away from what our mayor did. And he's doing the same thing with the City Hall project. And that's where I was going with this. The mayor he's, he's, has done nothing with the city hall project. He has, he, there has been, the there hasn't been any.